Ladies and gentlemen, how the heck are you? Just when you thought it couldn't get any more exciting, it did. Yep, that's right. Have you ever wondered what kind of electromagnetic frequencies are coming out of your router? Do you have one of those newer 5G routers? Well, I do. You know, because they love us so much, I thought I would actually test the EMF levels. And right now, we're doing pretty good. You know, the EMF levels are low. I'm testing with milliwatts per square meter. You can see it's staying in the green zone for the most part, even though I'm close to a computer, staying at around 0.3 milliwatts per square meter, which isn't a huge deal. However, if you look at the biologically based RF exposure limits proposed in the Bioinitiative 2012 report, which I'm going to share that with you here, we just look at it. You know, they want to keep it around 0.003 to 0.006 milliwatts per square meter. That's what we're testing this in. But, I mean, even without my router out here, it's still pretty high. But if you'll look, just look to the, you know, depending on how you want to angle it, just look next to me and you will see what I recorded earlier today, just a, I don't know, about an hour ago, brought the router outside and I wanted to see what the levels were. And you can see it's showing 1,827 milliwatts per square meter. 1,827 milliwatts per square meter. Now, the reason it's red is because that is extremely high. That's extremely dangerous. I'm just going to hit play here, and you can see. Now, when I moved it around, it was going 300, 400, 500, 800 when I actually picked it up off the router, but leaving it on the router, hanging out there at 1,827. Now, is that a sign of concern? Well, how many people sleep next to their routers? Or how many people have those close to their you know, sleeping quarters, next to their beds, whatever? You, know, you can see, if you look, did you see that, that that's a cooler? The, the props that I use for this show, I'm telling you folks, the Illuminati hang out in my garage. You know, that's right. They're hanging out in my garage right now. You just can't see them because they're cloaked. And you have to use a certain vibrational frequency to actually have that opportunity. But isn't that nuts? So I'm going to read a little bit to you out of this report here that I find fascinating. Is they're talking about smart meters and how much energy smart meters can emit. And they can emit these pulses with 10, 20, 30,000 pulses within a matter of a few seconds. Just... You've seen Bruce Almighty, where he's responding back to these emails at a matter of thousands per second. It's like that except for it's not out of love. Well, I mean, it is. It's, it's out of love. They, they want to do it because, you know, never mind. Well, it's because faster download speeds, obviously. They want to make sure that your smart appliance, that that refrigerator, refrigeratorator, refrigeratorator actually keeps your food cold enough just right. And if you get low on milk, they're going to order you more milk that's been radiated and filled with an assortment of chemicals, or you can get that new milk now that has aspartame in it that has more protein, and it's because it's, you know, good for you. Oh, sure. Would you like to buy a timeshare too? So that level right there at 1,827, I do find alarming. Now, the biological effects here, if you want to get into what this stuff can actually do to the DNA, it's insane. It starts to talk about, here, let's go here, right down here. Let's take another look at it. We just look at it. I'm listening to Mr. Robota right now. How synchronistic. Remember at the very end, he's like, we come in peace at the beginning. And then the end, he's like, I'm Kilroy. I'm Kilroy. Mr. Roboto. They pretend to be your friend. And then they turn on you because they break out of the programming. Anyway, all right. Bioinitiative 2012 report, 0.003 to 0.006 milliwatts per square meter is what they recommend. However, if you get into how far these smart meters can shoot out energy, look at this. Power density at 20 meters out of 14 studies that they did, these smart meters can affect biology 66 feet away. Is that not insane? Think about that for a minute. 66, 666, 66 feet away. They actually did studies. I'm going to read down here a little bit. 100 meters away, 328 feet to be exact, from a smart meter, the power density 
was higher than the power density that triggered biological effects in six of the 67 studies. So the studies that they did, they actually proved that a smart meter can affect biology 328 feet away. That's further than a football field. Or, I don't know, isn't a football field 300 feet? This is it 300 feet? Let me look at it. Now I got to look it up. Football field uh, length. I'm thinking it's 300 feet. Oh, 360 feet. I apologize. I see. I'm a moron, but you guys know that. That's probably why you watch the show. 120 yards, 360 feet. So almost the length of a football field. They have been able to absolutely prove. Hold on a second. They've been able to absolutely prove that they can affect biology with one smart meter. Now, you know, right now it's hanging out at 0 0.19, 0 0.25. Put us, you should get one of these things or get something similar to this and just test the levels because it is, you might think about unplugging your router at night when you go to sleep. You might, you probably won't, but you might consider it. What was I going to share with you guys real quick? I had some more very valuable information that I wanted to share. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah. And also, I want to give a huge shout out to virtualshield.com slash leak project. Virtualshield.com slash leak project. They are a virtual private network designed from the ground up to keep your information and data safe from big data spies. If you want to keep your information safe, you want to keep your information anonymous when you surf the web, check them out. Virtualshield.com slash leak project. They're offering a discount right now, less than $5 a month. Also, a free 30-day trial. And, ladies and gentlemen, it even gets better. If you want to disable your microphone and your webcam from possible voyeuring eyes and ears, you can do that as well. So check them out, virtualshield.com slash leak project. Quick shameless plug. Now, not only can smart appliances affect biology, but so can smart meters, so can cell phones, routers, smart electronics. What about these smart pills now that the FDA has approved, literally smart pills that have a signal that gets sent back to a patch that then goes back to a cloud, a network of when you take your pills. Now make sure you're medicated. How many movies have came out previously, even from the 70s and before, they show this future that people have to stay medicated to stay in a certain condition. Even I remember Flash Gordon when Ming... When Flash Gordon's just beating the crap out of these guys in football, and Ming looks at his one of his uh, you know one of his minions, and he goes, "Are your men on the right pills?" So, one is going to be you must take these pills, especially if you question things, and even if you don't question things, you need to take them because you might question things later, and they don't want you to question things, ladies and gentlemen. For example, they don't want you to question that missile launch that there was a immediate threat sent via emergency broadcast, Hawaii, people on their phones got it, and then they come out and say, oh, sorry, we pushed the wrong button. It was just an accident. Sorry, just an accident. Don't question it. Go back to work. Go back and do what you're told. The government loves you. Everybody loves you. They would never lie to you. The media would never lie to you about anything. Everything on the Internet's real. Don't question anything. If you do, they've got a vaccine for that. And probably way beyond the fun vax that I'm sure most of you that listen to League Project have heard of. The fun vax, how real is that? I don't know. But I did see the presentation based on the Pentagon supposedly released the information. And you watch the presentation. And the meeting might have been real. But the presentation where the guy used the same, the same photograph for a brain, um, an image of a brain, somebody's brain. He used the same photograph for two different people. And it was a MRI image. And he was pitching it that if you took these, there are these certain particles that could actually take specific parts of your brain and disable them to where you wouldn't have what they call the God gene, to where you wouldn't believe in a higher power, you'd be more docile. And they were talking about spreading that out in the Middle East during times of war. And the guys in the background were like, oh, yeah, this sounds such a good idea. <laughs> Kind of like that. You know what I mean? They were just getting off on it. But, hey, maybe it was all a hoax. I did see, though, that the guy was pulling a fast one on him. And, hey, anyway, 
He's like, man, if I, I can convince him I'll put this together and I'll get a million dollars in funding. <laughs> we'll just test it on the little ones. The silly ones, those that don't are, uh, those that are undesirable, those that question me. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I just got a harp on. I need to get my tinfoil hat back. It's actually over there, but, you know, I'm supposed to be serious, ladies and gentlemen. I'm supposed to be serious. Otherwise, somebody might unsubscribe. Unbelievable. No. Anyway, what do you guys think? Huh? What do you think about these wonderful, wonderful smart meters? And see, right now, it's, it's showing one. And just before that, it was showing 0.4. Well, when it was on that router, it was 1,800. So, I need a Faraday cage. Does anyone want to send me an Airstream trailer? Hey, if you do, let me know. Then I could do these podcasts out of an Airstream trailer, travel the country, and we could do events in different cities, and uh, we could have like this mind meld with different other, you know, with other people that are equally, if not more intelligent, many I'm sure more intelligent, because I'm just fortunate enough to be here. I can barely keep up with you guys now. I mean, this is, this is awesome. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Send me an Airstream. We'll turn it into the ultimate Faraday cage. So I won't get as many harp-ons when I'm doing the show. Just saying. Hello. Be the change you want to see, folks.